guys, and this is going to be a review of Season 2, Episode 8, Terror of the Faithful of Rain. And I'm sorry that I'm holding the camera. I don't have my tripod because it's technically my Thanksgiving break. I finished up classes this morning. You may be able to tell that I'm still in my dorm. Um, I have about half an hour or so until my sister gets here and we go home. So I decided to film this really quickly. I had to pull out my camera from where it was packed and I don't want to mess with my tripod. So hopefully this doesn't end up being too shaky or anything like that. The biggest thing with the story right now seems to be a religious conflict between the Catholics and Protestants and I think it's shaping up to be something even bigger than the whole pagan stuff last season. Um, and I actually really like how they're doing it so far for the most part. Um, Obviously, like, historical accuracy has never been Rain's strongest suit, but overall I'm happy with how they seem to be handling things so far, so that should be interesting to see in the future. And Lola and Narcisse in this episode, I cannot stand the two of them. Like, any scene with the two of them, I despise, probably because I despise Narcisse. I always feel like I'm saying his name wrong. But I just, so many people seem to be shipping them and I don't understand because Narcissus is just like this demented person and I don't know why you would ship him with anyone and it just bothers me. But, like I was so angry at Lola. Um, the other, like, was it last episode or the episode before? I feel like it was the episode before because the whole letter thing and I just, when Frances told her the truth in this episode, like, I'm really, she seems so surprised that Narcisse had tricked her or, like, not told her the whole truth or whatever, but, like, before she met him, the rumor was that he had murdered his, like, wives before, so... I don't know why she's so surprised that he like deceived her or whatever and it's driving me crazy because he just like he sets off so many red flags for me and I don't know what Lola's doing so that's still driving me crazy although it's looking like that may be drawing to a close I hope it is because I cannot stand I can't stand any scene with Narcisse. Going back to the whole religious thing, the Inquisition is in this episode, which I feel like I should have seen coming. Like, I feel like I should have thought about that um, appearing considering the time period, but I think it's interesting that they're showing the kind of like, I don't know, power dynamic between the Vatican and the monarchy in Catholic countries during that time and just how that works and how like basically even though Francis is king he has no control over the Inquisition because they answer to the Pope and so um I don't know how they're gonna keep with that particular storyline in the future but I th thought it was interesting that they included the Inquisitors in the episode. Apparently there's a theme lately of me being really angry at characters because I'm also really angry at Francis and his insistence on not telling Mary the truth because he needs to tell her the truth. All of his excuses for not telling her the truth are stupid. I mean, not stupid, but they don't make sense. And I'm just so angry that he won't talk to her and like it's just creating all this drama between the two of them that he just could stop so easily by telling her. So I'm very angry about that. I was really impressed with Condi. Condé? Condi? Condé? I don't remember. I feel like I'm coming across as very tired in this video and that's because I am. I am so tired right now and I don't even know why because I got probably more sleep last night than I usually do on school days and I only had one class today but for some reason and I've had like a lot of caffeine today, but I just feel exhausted, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I was really impressed with him in this episode and coming forward to say that he's Protestant when he's not Protestant, because it's one thing to get like persecuted for the religion that you are, and it's another to possibly get prosecuted or like killed 
for a religion that you aren't even. So that was an impressive thing to do. I like him overall as a character, which I didn't think was going to happen when he first showed up because I'm pretty sure I didn't like him at first, but he's grown on me. And he's one of like the only characters that I'm not angry with at the moment, so there's that. The Protestants like killing the preacher for their cause was terrible and I feel like I should say something about it but I don't really know what to say right now. I'm pretty sure I had something to say about it before but I just felt really bad for the guy <laughs> because he's just being used and murdered by people that he trusted and that's really sad but I also I think that that goes to show how complicated things were at the time because I mean obviously it's really terrible to be like a religion and trying you're, you're trying to like support your religion or like make it so that your, your people who are in your religious denomination aren't being killed and hurt and things and you do that by killing someone. It's obviously a very bad situation. I'm pretty sure the only other thing I have to talk about is Claude. I um, was not expecting- well that's not entirely true- I was expecting her to have some connection to her sisters dying somehow obviously from past episodes, but I was not expecting her to have killed her sisters, which is definitely what is being hinted at. And now I'm really confused because Claude seems so confused over why Catherine doesn't love her like her other children, but if you murdered your siblings, I don't know why you would be surprised about your mother not being too fond of you. So that's interesting, but I do I do think Catherine loves her and you can tell in the episode and like Catherine's children are like the only things that she loves. So I definitely think that came across in the episode and that should be a very interesting storyline. I'm actually really looking forward to that. Like I wouldn't think I would, but it's it seems like it's going to be really interesting and makes me really curious about Claude as a character if she did murder her sisters. So I'm interested in seeing how that goes in the future. Speaking of going back to Lola and Narcisse, Narcisse seems to like possibly being hinted that something will happen with him and Claude which should be more interesting to me than him and Lola I think just because of his and Claude's personalities. Um, but I guess we'll wait and see not this week, there's no episode this week because of Thanksgiving, but next week. So I think that's all and I will see you guys later. Bye!